Hi everyone, my name is Aman Zinubona. Like around this time last year, I did uh, the admission test for App Academy. I did the RUB prep work and it was very helpful. I did it and I was able to pass their exams, but I couldn't afford their tuition. So I was thinking maybe it will be beneficial for all the people around who want to learn Ruby and so we can get our hands dirty together. So join me. Let's test our problems. So let me see the into the problems directly in the directory. So from here you can run your Ruby script, test the the problem 0, 0, 0, 0. So right now I have Ruby installed. So this is my version of Ruby. Don't think this matters because you should be okay. Just make sure you have Ruby installed to run this. And if you're on Windows, it has to be in your environment variable or your environment. Mac OS already, already has Ruby 1. Point by default. Uh, Ubuntu or some Linux distro might have it, but check and install. That will be Ruby. Ruby. Ruby is as a tab reverse. So as you can see we are getting false 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 so let's modify our reverse method to give us the desired output so for the first case ruby already comes with with a reverse method but if we keep using ruby's method we won't know how to think through problems on our own not to say you shouldn't use it when you have the chance you should use it but this is this the purpose of this exercise is to is to challenge ourselves and see how well we can make things happen. So uh, the only way I can the way I can think of this is to iterate through and store it from the back. That is, if I have an A B C, I should be able to should be able to read from C B A. And the way to do that is to iterate. And to iterate, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to need something to store it with, and uh, to store my output with. I'm going to need something. I'm going to iterate with. Since I'm iterating from the back, it's going to be string dot length. Then minus one. I'm going to do a while loop. So my wall is dependent on my eye and my eye must be greater than or equals to zero. So anytime I get to zero, it passes, but anytime I go below that, it stops. So since I'm reducing the value of I, I need to do that here or else I'll have an infinite loop and this will keep running forever. So I'm going to have to add to my out so i'm going to add to my out by plus equals to then that is string at position of i yep i think let's do it um for the sake let's just return out and save this Run it. Oh, sorry. Did I write zero? I'm supposed to write one. I. My bad. Okay. 
so it passes so let's now check the solution how this person did it in his own okay so he's having a reverse string okay so the reverse string is empty his current index of i is string is zero so he's starting from the beginning okay the way he's doing it is he's adding his let's say we have something like sorry, a b c now he's starting from a he's adding a to an empty string so when this loops again this reverse string will now become a and this will be b so he's adding b in front of a and saving it into the reverse string so when he loops again it's adding c in front of b a yeah so it now becomes c b a wow that's nice so hope we've learned something today or another day we'll continue and check some more algorithms or some more problems and solve them together so i try to make sure i don't look at the solutions before starting this so we make mistakes together so let's let's not be discouraged when we write something that is far bigger than what the solution is we are all learning and we'll improve together so see you guys next time bye bye